you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Jermaine, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. This religion is so pure, and I am so proud to be a Muslim. I am so proud to have the opportunity to talk about how I feel and my experience. I am so um, proud to be a voice for some of the Muslims who are kind of in trouble. It makes me, well, it makes me tear because. I feel that you have to have it in your heart and you have to want to do good by others. Jermaine, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Do you think uh, Shilpa will be coming over to, to Bahrain and you maybe go over to Mumbai and, and, and have some proper chicken curry? Well, I would love to go to Mumbai. Um, Michael's been, my, 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 and my other brother Jackie has been, but I have not been. But I love the Indian movies. I love the culture, the music. I'm very close to to Ad, Ad Nam Sami, and I wow. love the uh, the food. So uh, I'm definitely going to go. I, I hear Adnan Sami loves his food as well. So you got something in common. Yeah. <laughs> 9, 19 p.m. Shilpa is teaching Jamin an Urdu phrase to say to his wife. What is it that you want to do? Mm. I really miss you a lot. Oh. I really love you a lot. She, 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 she already know that. Uh, yeah, but Urdu is a very romantic language. I really miss you a lot. Mm, missed you a lot? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. Why? No, that, that didn't even start out right. Hum? Hum. Me. Me. Apko. Apko. Bohat. Bohat. Yad. Yad. Kia. 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 I won't be saying that. <laughs> You've been called the peacekeeper. You played the peacekeeper numerous times in that house. And on one final question, one final topic. We talk about making a change, and, and you made a change some years ago a, a, a change in religion, a change in faith. It's, uh, as a Muslim, how, how have you found being a Muslim? And how is it being in the Big Brother house, being a Muslim? Well, I'll tell you, if I did not have Allah in my prayer rug, I would not have survived. And the reason why is because it kept me focused, it kept me calm, it kept me just, just, it's, it's, it's the ultimate power and the ultimate calmness of just, just pa patronizing God and, and, and just knowing that he's, the peacekeeper of all things, mm. and that's what kept me calm. There's, there's a lot of speculation that you, you invited your brother Michael over to Bahrain recently, and, and that Michael may well be becoming a Muslim. Can you set the record straight for us on any of that? Well, I'll tell you this. The, my pilgrimage to Mecca was in 889. Michael, I feel, needs to become a Muslim because I, I think it's a great protection for him from all the things that he's he's been attacked with which are false and I think um, um, uh, there's there's a strength and there's a protection there has he with shown God. Any, has he shown any interest in becoming a Muslim do you know has he, has he mentioned it to you yet? well I brought him a lot of books from my first trip and he reads everything and he reads a lot and I I think he's um, he's he's probably probably giving it a serious serious thought be, because he spent a lot of time in Bahrain I was I was the reason why he had, he had gone there because I, I wanted him to get out, out of America and just go somewhere where it's peaceful and quiet and people pray five times a day which is beautiful it's it's a beautiful thing okay. beautiful J Jermaine Jackson, thank you very much for spending time and speaking to us. Really, really, I'm very grateful. And uh, I think you've done a lot of people of all colours and creeds and faiths uh, very proud of being in that big brother house. Thank you very much, Jermaine Jackson. Thank you very much. Jermaine. Hi, Jermaine Jackson. I haven't seen you for many years. The house is wonderful. The people are very nice. Jermaine Walker.
That's not my thing. <laughs> your mum is very so you are actually black, aren't you? Or are you? Is your mum white? 100% no. pure. But you are both black. black. Now I've met Jermaine Jackson, I know I won't be uh, struggling for someone to sing at my wedding. <laughs> I think Jermaine is just an amazing guy. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. Won't you please let me back in your heart? My brothers would be proud. <laughs> they would be proud and laughing at the same time. And Jermaine's here, and uh, we're delighted to meet you. We've been you. In fact, in our house, I think it's fair to say that we all hoped you would win, because we've been so completely mesmerized oh, by thank your... You. Well, I, I mean, I don't know, do you practice meditation or something? No, it's, it's just my prayers and just my fasting that keeps me calm and, and, and peaceful. You were very zen, really, from, from, from start to finish. You never lost it. Uh, you, you never seemed thrown by anything. When things went wrong in the house, you were the one to calm things down a lot. I mean, the question that occurred to me was, watching you, what, what's this guy doing here? Why did you do it? Why, why did you come to on this extraordinary reality show? Well, I'm, I'm recording with my brothers right now, and so we had, had a break, and, and so I said, well, why don't I try this? But uh, two years prior to that, my father and I, we uh, were in Berlin, and we visited the Big Brother house there. And so yeah. we took a walk through. Got it. And, and so my father asked me, could you do this? And I said, yes, this is a piece of cake. But I never thought that the opportunity would come two years later. And then there were some producers that came over right, and asked me. And I really wanted the challenge. And I... I felt that I've achieved what I wanted to achieve, which was last, the duration of it, but I thought that I would have been booted out a long time ago. Oh, no, 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 yeah. because you were, you, you were such a calming influence oh, all, the, well, all the time. But what, uh, you say you fast and you pray. Um, so what was going on with the meals then? You're a vegan, aren't you? Yes. So did you have, you have your own special meals all the time? I had plenty. I had all that I needed. Okay. I, was, um, I, I had my prayers and I just had my my peace within myself my whole demeanor was to sort of keep my composure and the prayer helped me so much in the fasting I, I fasted a lot in inside the house which was much harder for me because if I'm fasting at home I can go and entertain myself by just looking at TV or something but to sit there and not be able to leave those premises and and then watch mm. everybody eat and I'm like but but Doing my prayers, that kept me strong. Very Your strong. spirituality really did come across. And how long have you been converted to the Islamic faith? Since '89, I did the pil pilgrimage to Mecca, and I've been—I'm complete. I'm whole now. Which means what? How does that work? There were so many questions that I had growing up as a Jehovah's Witness, and and then uh, a bit of Christianity, and I don't. And I'm not against any any religion, but I believe if one lives his life like God, then you are a Muslim. And and if you live your life in, in God's will. So I felt that once I converted, everything was full circle for uh -huh. me. And I, my purpose on earth is to try to be the best human being that I can be to others. Well, that, you know, it's interesting, is it? We've got this terrible conflict between East and West and Muslims and Christians and... How, what's the answer to us all trying to rub along together? Because we all have our own beliefs and we must all be tolerant of each other and basically the message is love and peace, isn't yes. it? Yes, well I think my brother said it best with the song Man in the Mirror. Uh, and if you look at yourself first and make a change, then you can change for others and you can change others. Mm -hmm. But you have to have that in your heart. Now at the start of the year, if you were asked to name one of the Jackson Five, Michael would have been the obvious choice. But 2007 has been the year for Michael's older brothers to return to the spotlight. Jermaine, of course, entered the Big Brother house, not realizing that he was about to be at the eye of an international political storm. Whilst accusations of racism, bigotry and bullying swirled around him, Jermaine kept his cool and his dignity. He put this down to his belief in Islam, and I caught up with him a few days ago to find out more. A strong foundation creates secureness. Put it like this. We have to be bigger and stronger. We have to. Well, Jermaine, I feel as if I've been virtually living with you for the last month, having watched you so much on, on Big Brother. What was your motivation for going in? My motivation was for, for going in was, well, first of all, I visited the Big Brother set in Berlin, and I was with my dad and 
my uh, nephew and my father kind of challenged me and asked me if I could do this. And I said, it's a piece of cake. And, <laughs> and so I said, well, why, why don't they give it a try? And, and I thought I'd be kicked out in seven to ten days. <laughs> Were you I hoping to be kicked out between seven it, to ten days? Yes, but I, I was wrong. <laughs> How much did you use your Islamic faith when you were in there just to get by? Every day, every moment, every second, just the, the prayers and, and just repeating Allah's name with my prayer beads uh, every second and just fasting and just keeping my composure and staying calm and staying peaceful. Were you shocked in a way though that you had to use so much of your peacemaking powers within the house? It, it, it kind of came naturally because I, I saw disputes and things kind of brewing and and I was sort of like would ease myself in there and just say, listen guys, it's calm down, it's going to be okay. Jermaine says in some of the papers,